Hey everybody, we're back for part two of Get to Know Us. And, and excuse us sniffling a lot, it's just allergies. I'm sorry, but it's, you know, spring's coming and, you know, shit like that. But that's not what we're here to talk about. You clicked on this video for a specific reason, and that is to get to know us. Alright, so, uh, so this part two is going to be about how Tom and Friends Variety met and I met each other. So, to start off, we took a career development, we were in a career development class in the spring 2015 semester of college, mm -hmm. and it was during, when we were, you know, on our break, not spring break, but we were taking like a five minute break to like stretch, go to the bathroom, get water, Which you I know. Do too soon. I feel like go, but, really? No. Oh. <laughs> Um, so I pulled out an Enterprising Engines book, and he's like, and what was your, um, first thing when you saw that? It's like, hey, what you got there? <laughs> oh, you got an Enterprising Engine, huh? Hey, I like that stuff, too. And then we started talking, and instant. We instantly hit it off great. Yeah. So, yeah, like he said before, I had an Enterprising Engines book. That's from your big... The big collection. Yeah. Um, so then afterwards, um, we started talking about the adventure begins, about how Henry should have been in his old shape, I and, talk about that, <laughs> well, didn't you say something about that? I don't know, it's not my concern about the movie, but alright. And so then, oops, sorry. So that's how we hit it off, and then we, event we, and then we eventually hung out over the summer, and that's where we rode bikes a lot. A lot. Like, we rode pretty a much lot. all over. Like, all over, pretty like pretty much all over, but only to familiar places. Like, such as, well, Arlington Heights. And... We go everywhere. And we even rode down to Franklin Park, too. So we've yeah, been friends for, like... Knows that. Knows so we've been friends for, like, three years. And we started talking about more about Thomas... And, um, is there anything that you wanted to add for this? Uh. Like, like, uh, besides, like, more into how you and I met? Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's just basically how we hit it off. We were just in a, yeah, class. At college. Yeah, hey, you got that? And then yeah. just instant. We started hanging out, doing our bikes, and that's what another thing we found in common. And I use I'm the one that usually took you everywhere. I <laughs> yeah go ten miles one way. You tag <laughs> you tag along with me. So yeah, um, so and then he we like hung 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 out at each other's houses. Um, he showed me his VHS collection, which by the way I have seen in person. It's big, it's not big. in that context, but. It's it's a pretty big VHS collection. It gets bigger. But it gets it gets bigger every year because it gets more VHS tapes. Yeah. Um <laughs> and so um he also borrowed a few DVDs from me. Uh one of them is the Calling All Engines DVD. I have my own copy now. Not that I even watch it, but VHS copy? DVD. Oh. <laughs> And so, um, he even he only has like a few wooden railway toys, like Thomas, Percy, and a uh, soda line caboose. Mm -hmm. Didn't he didn't really care much for the toys. Not anymore, no. Not as much as I do. However, there when when I went to the flea market, I actually found some Ertl models. Like I tried to get the first eleven engines. And the guy wanted nineteen dollars for the first ele for like all eleven engines. He could have made what? a deal with him, but then like fifteen dollars. Uh, I tried. I tried bargaining. <laughs> um. And get nineteen dollars. <laughs> and I also um, that's where I also found the sticker faced engine, the sticker faced Ertl models from the nineteen eighties, like Ertl like. Mid eighties through early nineties. And I found Claire uh, Annie. Yeah, which you told me about today. Like you found Annie today, right? 
Not today, but you found like an Ertl Annie last week. Just Annie, yeah. No Clarabelle? Nope. Uh, capsule Clarabelle. And so, also, um, I've gotten more wooden railway models. You guys know the gist of it. And, of course, my adventures models. I have, uh, I uh, went to a store about a month ago. Oh, a thrift store, right? Like a Goodwill you know, store? I went to Meyer, uh, hypermarket, as they're called. Uh, and I saw in the discount section they had a whole little crate full of... Original Thomas? Yeah, the Adventures Original Thomases. I thought they'd be really cheap, but they're two ninety nine compared to the Wait, ninety nine what? Dollars? Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. I okay. thought they'd be really cheap, like a dollar each, but I just bought one. That's the only new toy I'll ever buy. It's just cheap and Well you have some wooden railway, right? New toy, yeah. Like new style wooden railway, not the Mattel versions. Or a new toy I'll ever buy is Adventures toy. Oh yeah. I just bought one. Just keep it like that. Uh, no. but you, it's still in its box, right? Yeah. Uh, like decided, you never, you haven't opened it. Uh, I just thought it'd be something cool to have, so I got no use for it. Ah. And I'm just keeping this package. Because you don't know how rare it's going to be. It's not going to be that rare. It's kind of a crappy toy in the first place. But... Dude, Adventures is great. I will say this: it's better than the than the 2014 Mattel take. A, Take along, not take along. Take and play with, with the dumb, with the dumb wooden railway style magnets. <laughs> and before you say anything, I hate Thomas and Friends wood. Um. Yeah, anyway. So more on how we met. Um. So at, when we met up in downtown Arlington Heights for like the first time. <laughs> um. We we were. I was asking him where to ride to, and. You just wanted to ride, like, the first time we actually hung out was um, over the summer. Well, and that was after, like, the weekend I uh, went to Wisconsin. I went to the National Railroad Museum. In Union, right? In Green, Green Bay. Green Bay, Wisconsin? Okay. And so I was telling you about uh, the LNER A4, the Dwight D. Eisenhower. Oh, yeah, you were telling me about that. Um, <laughs> that's up there. It's so still up there, right? Like, it's still on display, right? Of course. Okay. I was just telling you about that. I was like, hey, I went to uh, and Green, then, Green Bay and I saw <laughs> Mallard's brother. It's a catcher in America for obvious pur purposes. It was named after our president and Dwight D. Eisenhower. War general and donated to us by the Britain, British. Because uh, did Britain have no use for them? Have well, no use they, for that Pacific locomotive? Well, they just donated to us because it was named Dwight D. Eisenhower. And then Dwight D. Eisenhower is an American, um... But still, he wasn't yeah. a war general anyway. That makes sense. And, uh... Same thing with the one in Canada. Didn't we name it Canada? Well, yeah, that makes sense. But what about, um, Bitterin? It's in England, still. The Mallard herself? In England. Spencer? Not real. I meant his basis. Those are his basis. <laughs> anyway, we're moving off topic. Anyway, moving yeah, that's on. that's what we talked about, too. And then, uh, we went on, like, a... We, we, like, rode our bikes, like, to, uh... What was the first place we actually rode to? Do you remember? Just around town, and then I figured... I invited you to go, like... On longer trips to a couple of nearby towns, because I... Wanted to explore? Because, yeah, because I went that way, like, once before... All the way going up to here in Arlington Heights, all the way up to Buffalo Grove into Lake County. Like, hey, yeah. I did this one time last year. You want to join me? And then we did. And then, and then we, we uh, go everywhere else. However, there were a few times where, where, we, where one of us has gotten into trouble. Like, okay, so what I was trying to say was, like, what I'm trying to say is, whenever, any, whenever the two of us ride really far, we always end up having a problem with our bikes. <laughs> Like, this one time I got a flat tire. Get flats. Like, I got a flat tire. Like, this one time we were riding through, um, d downtown, like, Des Plaines or something. <laughs> I got a flat tire. And... and so what happened was we stopped off somewhere, like, to, like, rest. And then afterwards, my tire started def to deflate or something. <laughs> we were riding through this neighborhood. 
And when I turned, I heard like this noise coming from the back of the, the back of my bike. And when I looked down, I saw that my inner tube had completely deflated and my and it was actually sticking out. Yeah. <laughs> And what's worse is I was mi- I was miles away from home. As far as I was, I got an extra five miles to go. So if I ever get stranded out there, <laughs> which I have once while I wasn't with you though, you were by yourself that time, right? I'm more screwed, yeah. But I've gotten flat tires a couple times. I've gotten uh, like a the spoke or the wheel screws up. Well, so ha- oh yeah, there. like that one time that your um your chain got screwed up. Yeah. Stuff like that. Mind telling them how that happened? Like, what was the story no, behind that? It's a lot of context, a lot of detail. It doesn't matter. Okay, okay. I was strange there. End of story. And then what about, do you remember also that time where we were at Buffalo Grove and then one of us had a problem with our bikes? That was me. I think it was one, I think it was you. Twice. We were, and, okay, so what happened was we were in Buffalo Grove <laughs> and then Tom and Friend's bike, his bike, like, had a problem. I think it was a flat tire. Was it a flat tire? I don't remember. He doesn't really remember, and we were, like, stuck, um, like, in between a gas station and Buffalo Grove High School. Yeah. So I had to call my sister to come get us, which yeah. she's done that a few times. Yeah, we gotta thank her for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I think that's all we have, um... Yeah, that sounds good to me. That pretty much, uh, that's pretty much it for personal lives. Um, I hope you guys liked this. Sorry there wasn't that much to this part. But I hope you guys liked it anyway. Um, and I'm sorry if I sound like congested. It's just allergies. I'm really sorry about this. But don't forget to... But they, I hope you guys enjoyed us rambling. Or talking, I guess. Um, so don't forget to subscribe and comment. And also subscribe to Tom and Friends channel. I just hit 4,000. He hit 4,000, so congrats to him. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is James the Red Engine fan, 1994, and... I'm a friend Friday who really has to pee, to be honest with you. (laughs) Uh, signing out. See you.